Today, I'm going to go in-depth about every worthwhile barter trade in Escape from Tarkov for someone who has unlocked up to level 2 traders. Let's get right into it. So, for a prapper, there's no real great barters for, you know, level 1 prapper. However, you know, you could get the PP19 for two T-shaped plugs. So, this is actually an amazing early wipe weapon and an amazing just beginner weapon because it's fully automatic has no recoil virtually and it takes such little modification uh yeah i mean there's only little modification available for it early and you don't even need that much i mean the the gun right off the rip is really strong in regards to the recoil so this is such a good barter if you're not level 15 yet and you just you t plugs are so common these days i mean you just anywhere you know you're looking in computers you're looking in bags you're looking this is just a common item to find another great barter is you it requires level two prepper but you get the 60 round 6l31 uh 545 mags and you get it for a thermometer and you get six per lockout so you will save about 10k uh per mag uh, even if you have the flea unlocked so this is actually a super strong barter usually if you're rocking 545 uh, AKs you're gonna have at least one of these that you have in your your weapon to start and then you'll have two 30 round mags in your your rig so this could last you six raids if that's how you're rocking your 545 AKs for the BT this is the only other uh, barter I'd recommend for prepper but for the BT rounds, you get a 30 round uh, like box right here for two Tashankas. Uh, the BT rounds aren't purchasable on the flea. So this is actually an okay trade. But you do need the big Tashankas for a quest to make the little Tashankas in the hideout. So I, I personally wouldn't like this trade. Also, BT is not as strong as it used to be for the 545 caliber. So this is really up to your preference i just wanted to throw it out here because i don't recall ever being able to barter for bt in the past uh, moving on to therapist though for therapist either one of these saliwa trades are good the the ewr and a paid so to get a saliwa which is arguably the best heal in the game uh just very strong i mean paid isn't really used for anything in the game and you know this is a a water item so uh, you could find these pretty much anywhere um, and I mean Saliwas are just a strong heal you know that the car trade I I would say the humpback if you're trying to make Saliwas because Saliwas aren't the easiest to find I feel like you can you can actually trade two humpback for one for two cars and then you could craft a Saliwa in your hideout so you could complete the quest that way if you've already unlocked med station level one in your hideout. Um, and then you could do the same thing in regards to the, the multivitamins um, to make your, let's say you haven't unlocked med station one. This is one of those items that is hard to find, I find. And these are all easy items. You could get these cigarettes, which feels like they drop all the time anywhere in any map every raid you're going to find at least one of these cigarettes so you just need one of each cigarette and you can get a bottle of the vitamins that'll help make your med station one uh outside of that though that's pretty much going to do it i wouldn't necessarily recommend the key barters because these keys are relatively cheap on the flea market um and you you shouldn't really need them um before you hit level 15 in the flea market i mean if you do i mean you're you're kind of forced to buy them with uh, the barters but i would probably try to do other quests before doing that i wouldn't necessarily worry about them because they're cheap on the flea market going into level two therapist though i would highly recommend the key tool these are going for like 500k 550k look 500k right now and you could literally get all these items for the key tool for for like it, it could be you could be saving 100k on this 115k um these these are not that expensive sometimes these are even going for like 8k 6k so it's pretty pretty uh substantial savings getting a key tool with the barter uh, the med case is another thing that is a must these items 
So you can't buy a med uh, case on the flea market. So you really don't have a choice until, you know, to buy these. You have to barter for it. And then when you hit level three therapist, you can actually pay like 549k for it. But I would highly recommend bartering for it. You're still going to save a lot more money bartering. Uh, another item I would highly recommend is the fuel. The fuel, I mean, you could get the buckwheat. Usually this is like 18 to 20K. Okay, so it's 23K right now. It will fluctuate in this range. So you could get it for sub 80K altogether. But the thing is, is that this uh, this fuel tank is usually 100, 110K. So yeah, 100K right now. So I mean, I would tell you, look, that's that's gonna save you nice 20 to 20 to 30k I would say and then if we go to the scav case I mean scav case is a must I wouldn't necessarily recommend uh, just because I don't PvP I I don't find a lot of PMCs all the time so if you if you find yourself having 40 dog tags of level 15 plus characters though I mean I, this is definitely a barter I would do it's just I scav a lot. So I usually just buy the scav case for 1.1 mil and you could get that at level one therapist because scaving just provides a lot of money I find. So these are, these are the barters I would do for therapist. For skier, I wouldn't necessarily say there's a lot going on here in regards to barters. Um, I would highly recommend the 30 round uh, 45 ACP mag. So this is, you know, this is actually super easy to get. I mean, strike cigarettes, and this is like the best mags you could get for like a vector. So I would highly recommend if you're using a, a vector 45, I mean, these strike cigarettes you can find all the time, and you could get six of these mags per lockout. So that's actually a really good one from Skier. But outside of that, for level one and two, I wouldn't recommend any of these other ones. They're just not worth it. For Peacekeeper... I would recommend the MP5 trade. It actually costs two brown knives and a bayonet. These are found all the time on scavs and when you scav. It's just all the time you can find these so easy. And you get a nice MP5 for virtually nothing, just for, for playing the game. Every scav you fight will literally have one of these knives. I wouldn't recommend, though, um, anything else. I mean, unless you're 15... And then you could turn in a hard drive in for an MBSS, or you could turn in a uh, you know a damaged hard drive and a DVD for a day pack. This might be something that you would consider. I'd say if you're lower level, this is a very easy find to get an MBSS really quick. And then let's go to mechanic. So for mechanic, here's where you could barter for the 50 round MP5 mag. This is a much better uh, barter than the Peacekeeper barter for fuel conditioner. For mechanic, you can barter for three wires. Wires are super common. And I mean, this is just a worthwhile trade if you're using an MP5 and want a 50 round mag or you need it for gunsmith. Uh, I would also use the uh, VOG 17 barter uh, just for easy grenades. You could get five per lockout and it just costs a fuse, which is a very common item, especially in like those grenade cases when you're looting. Um, and then you know, a big, a big, big trade that's going to save you a lot of money is this TP200 TNT brick for the Annihilator. Annihilator is part of Gunsmith. Uh, it's actually just a Gunsmith quest. But look at how much this is going to cost you if you buy it. It's 85.5k on the flea market right now. And honestly, that's, I mean, that's just way too much. So, I mean, this TNT brick is going to cost you like, maybe 22k or so. so that'll that'll save you a lot of money uh and then you need for gunsmith part 12 you will need an m870 so this uh this stock and this sells for like it could be 100 to 220k or so but you could get it for two AA batteries and two d batteries let's take a look at how much this stock sells for it's 110 to 123k right now this is for mechanic level one for the barter. So mechanic level two, you could buy it for 10k, which is nothing. But if you're not level, you know, like 20, which is what mechanic level two requires, you know, like you should definitely be using this barter right here for the two AA's and the two uh, D batteries. 
let's go back to the next item which is going to be the m870 handguard which is one rechargeable battery this is such a good barter so this is for gunsmith this is also for gunsmith 5 and so is this item they're back to back right next to each other so the mp133 custom plastic four stock with rails for a damaged hard drive you're always going to use this for for gunsmith uh, part five and then you're always going to use this uh m870 like the the magpul uh moe handguard you're always going to use these two so you get this one for gunsmith part one and then you're going to get this one for gunsmith part five and then this is just going to save you a lot of headache i mean these are both expensive let's go check out the prices here yeah, so it's 50k right here if you're not level 20, which is mechanic level 2. So 50k, or you could turn in a rechargeable battery, which is worth like, you know, 10k to the vendor. And then, uh, you know, damaged hard drives are worth nothing. And, you know, this is something that you could get like at level 1. I mean, you could find these damaged hard drives anywhere. Uh, another, another thing that's going to work out for you because it's this this AK Zenit B30 handguard this is 3 RAM which seems like it could be expensive but trust me when you look at this barter right here so this is actually cheap compared to what I've seen it but this is we'll call it 70k for this this is a uh, you know this is used for gunsmith part 8 but anyways let's let's go look at how much RAM costs compared to the 80k so yeah you could get let's call it 24k for three ram or you could pay like you know 70 80k and i've seen it even higher for that uh that foregrip right here or sorry the handguard so this is a huge savings for that gunsmith part eight task and then there's another another item you could barter here which is also it's a the val pistol grip for one milk and this is also another massive massive savings this is for gunsmith part uh, 15 and you know this is this is like gonna be you know just a just a cool hundred to 112 115k for this you know but you know you could get it for one milk you know what i mean like that's it just you're saving everything by doing that and then uh i mean the mechanic has just so many good barters for this <laughs> But when it comes to, this is, look at this one. So for electronic components and one power bank, you could get a Wi-Fi camera. Okay. Look at how much this is going to sell for. People are trying to sell this for, and I've seen people buy. It's 500K for a Wi-Fi camera. For some reason, that's what people are spending on Wi-Fi cameras when they could do this simple barter right here. Um, so please don't do that. Please use this guide and, and just barter for it. That's why bartering is so important in Tarkov. Um, is because people are just crazy when it comes to stuff like this. 500,000 for a Wi-Fi camera and they're used for multiple quests in this game. Um, another thing that you could also barter for is Bitcoin. I would always recommend if you... This is sold out usually on reset. So in one hour... It's going to be almost instantly sold out. So you would just buy these te the two Tetris and the two green batteries on the flea market. And then, you know, set a timer on your phone because that's what everybody's doing seemingly. And then they just trade for the Bitcoin because these are going to be cheaper than... You'll probably make 60 to 100K depending on what the real life price of Bitcoin is. Because Tarkov's Bitcoin actually tracks the real life price of it. So right now it's like 560, 570K per Bitcoin. So it is worth it for these four items altogether. Uh, I would recommend if you're using M4s, two pro kill is actually cheaper. It's like a hundred, it's like 140 K or so for two of them. Yeah, it's a hundred and 160 K for the two pro kill right now. But if you, if you know how much one of these specters costs the scope and then even the specter the suppressor and then you also have your uh your tactical device and then you also have a canted sight right here this is all and then you oh i'm sorry you also have the magpul carbine stock and the butt pad just this butt pad alone goes for 60k plus so 
yes, this is a huge deal if you include all those items. So even if you're not using an M4, you're probably saving a bunch of money just by using uh, this trade for the stock and then the tactical device and the scope. And, you know, it's just there's multiple things here. I would also recommend using this if you need the gunsmith 60 round mags and you haven't found 60 round mags. Yes, this is kind of expensive for the seven GP coins. Um, this will cost you. They're usually about 20, 30 K. Yeah. So this could cost you like, you know, 210 K at most if you're buying them all for 30 K, but you're going to get that gunsmith quest done and you're going to get a vortex, which is a super expensive scope. Uh, but most importantly, you're going to get that 60 round mag that you could barter for. Um, outside of that, though, this definitely a worthwhile, worthwhile barter here. So let's move on to Ragman. For Ragman, I wouldn't necessarily say there's too many uh, barters here as well. Um, you could do the uh, the two matches. So you got two classic matches for Contact 2s. This is an all right barter if you're low level. But, I mean, you still got to be level 2 Ragman to get it. So, it's not really it's not really worth. Uh, I do love one Cordura for this backpack, the LBT. This backpack is actually really, really nice in size. Uh, and it's just, it's one Cordura. I mean, this is it's nothing for this backpack. So, it's always sold out. But, there's it doesn't sell out instantly. Let's just say that. You could easily get it. But, let's move on to Jaeger since there's not really much for... For Ragman. So for Jaeger, I would recommend to barter for the CMS kit with the three nippers. The this is this is worth it if you're not level 15. If you are level 15, I mean you could just you know flea market the CMS. But this definitely three nippers, you know, can definitely be a lot cheaper than buying CMS. CMS is like between 35 to 50k on the flea, and nippers are not that expensive. I also recommend uh, the dog tag case barter. Uh, one VHS and one military flash drive is this will literally cut the price in half. Okay. These will be, you know, like 200, uh, sorry, 170, 180 K. And then you could versus paying, it's like 330 K for the dog tag case. So you'll pretty much save 50% by getting this. And then, uh, another barter that is a must Everybody has to do setup. We have to kill 15 PMCs with scav vests on. And scav vests are going for 20 to 50K. So 33K right now. Um, you could buy them for uh, one Slickers bar and you could get, you know, multiple per lockout. So let me show you what we could get here. Yeah, we could get, I believe it's three per lockout. It doesn't actually say here for whatever reason, but. Yeah, you could get scav vest for a slickers bar, which is significantly cheaper. This is going to save you a lot, especially for that setup quest. And outside of that, I mean, you can do the Tarzan. I wouldn't say the fuel's uh, worth it, by the way. But you could do the ice chest. So if this one is a must. You can't really buy this on the flea market. But you need 10 hot rods, 5 tarcolas, 5 herring, and 5 squash. And you'll get you the ice chest worth every penny holds a lot of food it's just you have to do this this is a must as soon as you could get it so save these four items until you have enough to get this ice chest and then another item that you could get is the one hunting matches for a tarzan vest this is you know a nice rig um so i i would say if you're not level 15 definitely get this this barter for you I mean, this works out like really well for a lot of players and it's enough space for most but outside of that i wouldn't necessarily say there's anything else that i would say is worth bartering for i hope you guys enjoyed the the video and if you like content like this please consider liking the video maybe commenting any thoughts that you may have and uh you know subscribe for future videos thanks a lot